All right, welcome to step number four of loading data into good data using the command line in a Windows environment. This is the final step. We are going to be actually loading the data into good data. So, as you can tell, there is another text file here. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what's going on. Hash marks re represent, obviously, the, um, the description of what's going on. So, um, first we're retrieving the project, then we're loading up the um, XML file, and then we are popping in the, da popping in the data in the good data. So I have got these text files already built so let me go to the good data directory here open them up in notepad++ let me pop this down here so I'm going to be loading the division first. So I'm retrieving the project, loading the data into the into or loading, I'm sorry, loading the XML file into the framework and then popping the data into the server. And the rest of these files are exactly the same except for obviously the um, the name of the CSV files and the name of the, the um, XML files. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pop open the command prompt here. Again, I'm going to head on over to my good data directory. And then I'm going to start running these files. So again, I'm loading the bat file. Um, here's my username and password. I'm going to be changing my password this time to uh, do not use it. And then here's the text file. So I'm going to go and execute that command. And of course, there's an error. Oh, I know what that's about. Not going to the right directory. Let's try that one more time. Sorry. Go ahead and execute that there. It's going to pop in 15 rows. And that was successful. So let's do the second one here. Same thing, popped in four rows, successful. This one's going to take a little bit longer because it's quite a bit bigger. 150 rows. And it was successful. All right. So now you are actually ready to go into good data. So let me go ahead and load up good data here. We log in. Already logged in. And here's the project here. And so now you are ready to actually start creating reports, creating metrics, and in the end, creating dashboards. And I will be showing you that in the next video. All right. Thanks for watching.